Judge Bruce Schroeder defended his actions and attacked the media at a hearing on Wednesday after the jury asked an unrelated question about the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. Here's a look at the Fox News clip of the hearing. And as long as I'm talking about it, I guess I'm going to talk about that, too. The um, business about people not being identified as victims. How would you like to be put on trial for a crime? And the judge introduced the case to the jury by introducing you as the defendant and the person who's accusing you as the victim. And then throughout the trial, have all the references to, um, to the um, complaining witness as being the victim. Is it so difficult to just use the term complaining witness instead of prejudging what the jury is here to determine as to whether there's a victim and, and uh, whether there was a crime committed? So I don't know what the, uh, well, I'll, I'll leave that comment at that. And then finally, I'm now reading about how bizarre and unusual it was to have the defendant pick the um, numbers out of the tumbler yesterday. And I would admit that I don't know that there's a large number of courts that do that, maybe not any. Uh, it, I do it because of an incident that I had in a case I tried in Racine. Oh, I'm going to say, I'm, I estimated 20 years ago it could have been less than that, it could have been more. But um, it, was a, it was a big case, I think it was a murder case, but I'm not sure. Um, and there, were, there was a black defendant, and there were uh, 13 jurors, one of whom was black. And when the um, clerk, the clerk, the government official, drew the name out of the tumbler, it was a black, the black, the only black. There was nothing wrong with it. It was all okay. But what do they talk about? Optics nowadays? Is that the word for things? That was a bad optic, I thought. I think people feel better when they have control. So ever since that case, I have, uh, which was, well, Ever since that case, I, uh, I've had an almost universal policy of having the defendant do the picks. Well, it had nothing to do with anybody's race or anything like that. And uh, I never had a complaint about it before. In fact, I haven't had a complaint about it here. Um, but uh, some people seem to be dissatisfied with that and uh, people who want to undermine the result of the trial. So that's today's statement on that subject. Schroeder rounded out his speech by warning that he's going to think long and hard about allowing live television in the courtroom in the future, saying, quote, what's being done is really quite frightening. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of the Raw Report, please like and subscribe. And join others who like their news raw, too.